world is so crazy. Marine Corps Commandant. Less than 30% of young men and women qualified to join military. This is General Robert Neller, who is the 37th Commandant of the United States Marine Corps. And what did he say? He said, it's a strategic issue that less than 30% of the young men and women of our nation are qualified just to join the military, either because of physical, mental, or moral issues. So now we're down to 30%, and now we have to find those that have a propensity or are interested in doing this. Well, I hope everybody becomes not interested in becoming a useful idiot dog. You're referred to as dogs by these commandants and people like Henry Kissinger. Yeah, you're the dogs. You're put on a leash and you are trained to obey commands. That's what you are, military men and women. But why? What's going on? 30% of young men and women are not morally, or, or only 30%, are morally, mentally, physically fit to join our military. That means 70% of the young are physically impaired, mentally impaired, or morally impaired. And that means an awful lot of the young are just unwell. Okay, what's going on? Years ago, I saw articles where they were saying that the young are obese. They're just too obese. Well, now we have more obese children. Have you looked around? What the hell is going on? Remember when we were young, baby boomers, when we were young? Almost nobody was obese. And the, the, the peers that we went to school with, hardly anybody was fat, obese. And unfortunately for those who were, they were a few, a very select few, and they sure did get bullied. But now you look around and you see so many children who are fat, who are overweight, who are obese. It's scary. What's going on? And you read these articles, these mainstream media articles, and all they talk about is, well, you parents, you've got to be feeding your children the right food. Yeah, that's very, very important. A lot of parents, they're, fooding, they're feeding their children processed foods, and foods that contain so many chemicals and pesticides and the GMOs that cause obesity. Very hard to find food that doesn't cause obesity today. Here, just a couple of days ago, Harvard Health Publishing, the Harvard Medical School, scary news about childhood obesity. Now we have like one in two who are overweight or one in three who are overweight or obese. That's not a good trend. No, I'd say that's not a good trend. But you read article after article. You watch these news, uh, cable news segments on the obesity that is taking hold of children today, but you never hear, you never hear them talk about, well, how about wireless technology? Wireless technology in your health. And because wireless disrupts so many neurotransmitters and hormones and our central nervous system, our autonomic nervous system, it has so many of our, the frequencies, we are electromagnetic beings, so these 
these frequencies that children are saturated in today, they go from their homes that are Wi-Fi to their schools that are heavily Wi-Fi. And it's one of the reasons why these children are obese. When you disrupt a child's hormones, you're setting that child up for weight gain and obesity. And, well, how about that lithium? Now, I posted a video, I don't know, two weeks ago on the lithium being sprayed into our air that we are breathing. But many children now are on lithium and lithium causes weight gain. It causes weight gain. Six psychiatric medications that cause weight gain? Only six? No. Virtually all of them cause weight gain and obesity. But are psychiatrists telling parents that? No. Or they may say, when the child begins to gain weight, they may say, well, you know, that's something that they can live with, but their mental illness is something that needs to be medicated. They can't live with that mental illness. The six medications, Clozaril, Clozapine, Zyprexa, Remeron, Seroquel, Depakote, Paxil, and there are many more. Prozac, Zoloft, Effexor. Um, the list is long. All you have to do is do some research on particular antidepressants or psychiatric medications, and you will find that virtually all of them are causing so many people to gain so much weight. And it's not just psychiatric medications, other medications do. So everybody needs before they take a medication to do the research on the medication that has been prescribed to you because you're not getting informed consent. You've got to do the research yourself. Psychiatric medications make weight loss nearly impossible, but weight gain a snap when you think about all of the kids on these medications. The adverse effects set them up for a lifetime of problems. Problems with their weight, problems with their mental health, problems with their physical health, the GMOs encourage weight gain and obesity. My God, what are we doing to the young? Pesticides. Pesticides that you, you, it's very hard to get away from foods that either are saturated in chemicals that cause the weight gain or the pesticides that they spray upon the foods. And I'll say it again. You know, truly the only possible way that anybody can eat healthy is if they're buying organic locally. And even that contains chemicals because of all of the geoengineering, the spraying of chemicals and fungi and and uh, heavy metals. And m many of those chemicals and, and fungi and the viruses that they're spraying and the heavy metals affect our hormones. So truly, all one can do if they can afford is to buy food that is produced in greenhouses, which is very expensive foods. But our government knows there's an environmental link to obesity. There are so many studies that have proven the link to obesity. The 
environmental links to obesity, but you don't hear that being talked about. What you hear is that, well, you parents are not feeding your children right, and because they're all, and this is true too, they're all on their cell phones and just sitting and, and living very sedentary lives, which we didn't live decades ago. We were out playing all the time. We were out engaged in, in uh, neighborhood sport, sporting activities. We ran around. And today, I don't even see any kids outside. You know, when school is done, where the hell are those kids? I see a few, you know, on their bicycles on the weekend with their father or mother or something, but that's it. I, I see hardly any children outside today unless they're in Walmart with their parents shopping. And many of those children are staring at their cell phones. All of these changes have come about really fast. Obesity has risen steadily, steadily in the United States over the past 150 years. Yeah, there is an environmental link. Chemicals in the environment. In the 1970s, the low-dose chemical exposures were associated with weight gain in experimental animals. In the 1970s, we have been doused with so many chemicals since 1970s. The EPA just continues to raise their levels of chemicals, of pesticides, of glyphosate, of Roundup Ready, and other uh, pesticides and herbicides that they allow to be sprayed onto the food. This is deliberate. It is deliberate. Do chemicals in our environment cause weight gain? Yes. Yes. And you also, you know, what we are now saturated in all of the foods and all of the medications that people are taking and all of the poisons and, well, electromagnetic radiation, obesity and chronic fatigue. And the effect of electromagnetic radiation on the body's brain, respiratory, and skin barriers. It is causing obesity. And, you know, it, it's not just in the young. You know, now they have reality TV shows. My 600 pound life. Um, and, and all of these reality TV shows with obese people. What is going on? You just walk outside and you see the radical change that has taken place. It's not just that Americans are lazy and sedentary. It's all of the poisons and medications and this Wi-Fi. Our environment has, has absolutely induced obesity. Gland cells, thyroid, adrenal um, glands, they may be particularly sensitive to radiation because their secretions are normally produced in internal membrane systems, which can also be damaged. These secretions are usually released in vesicles bubbles of membrane that fuse with the external cell membrane and disgorge their contents to the outside. All of these processes are being disrupted. So if you're gaining weight, I would suggest getting rid of your Wi-Fi. I would suggest looking into local sources where you can buy the food, and I would suggest that if you're on medications, that you look into the adverse effects of those medications. But if you have children who are gaining weight and they're on medications, you're not only causing your child to be obese 
and setting up that child for a lifetime of problems, you're also damaging their brains, disrupting their own natural processes within their bodies. Because no, those medications don't only affect the brain. Well, think about it, guys. You're affecting the brain. That means you're affecting the entire body. But Prozac, antidepressants, the serotonin. Many people think there's only serotonin in their brain. Serotonin is throughout your body. It affects all of the serotonin in your body. I'll link below to all of the articles.